Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Brian London from the Gold Newsletter. How are you today, Brian? Doing just great, Tracy. Wonderful to be talking with you. I'm going to hit you hard, just kind of as a long-term associate of mine. Uh, a couple of our associates were writing emails back and forth, and uh, one said, my analysis and that of others that I respect is signaling a significant top in the U.S. stock market sometime this week or next. That seems kind of uh, hard to hear. What are your thoughts on that? I'm sure you've received the same email. Uh, actually, I don't believe I have, although a lot of my friends emails end up in my junk email, not for any reason of mine, just because of the algorithms. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know who can uh, predict that or how or why. Um, it's been a long bull market in the stock market and really uh, with a, a few notable drops and wiggles in the line along the way since the, the late 1990s. It's been a tremendous run in the stock market. I think that with all markets being floated by an unprecedented level of central bank liquidity around the world and the Fed in particular, plus all of this fiscal spending, all of the markets, bonds, stocks, precious metals, gold, mining stocks, everything is being floated upon the sea of liquidity. And in that kind of an environment, all the correlations go toward one, everything rises, everything seems to fall together. I don't know that we'll see uh, a, a significant correction or crash in the stock market. If we do, though, you can bet the Fed is going to turn it to 11 and come up with some new programs or whatever they need to do. But they are going to open up the, the gushers of liquidity once again to rescue it. So anything that we see, I think, will be short lived and everybody will just come back in and start the party again. And of course, as a publisher and an editor at the Gold Newsletter, I got to ask you the obvious, Gold, when are we going to see that bull market uh, translating to the explorers, for instance, or will we see that this year? I think we will. In fact, gold is what you need to look at, because if gold moves and silver moves, then the, the mining stocks move, in, in, including the junior shares that we uh, focus on so much. So we really need to look at gold as being the bellwether. And I'm actually very optimistic about gold right now. It looks like we set a double bottom in the uh, price in March, and it looks we have been rallying since then, and it looks very good. I'm particularly enthused and encouraged by the fact that there is very little optimism, even among the gold bugs right now. The best that I've been able to get from my gold bug friends is that they predict the price might grind sideways for some time. Um, and that's really the most bullish bullish statement I've gotten from any of my friends in the gold bug community. With that kind of pessimism in the market, I think these the stage is set. I think the ground is plowed and fertile for a new gold rally, and we may actually be seeing that at this very moment. And of course, you and I both know that you're much older than you look, so you've seen a few cycles in your time. Yeah, I've been around in this market for 35 years now, 36 years now, so watching gold every day uh, during that period. And, uh, and it just feels like gold's, gold is ripe for a big rally right now. So can you pick a stock for us, or is there a, a stock or two that you can recommend we take a look and do more research on? Sure. Um, I like Erdeen Resource Development uh, Corp. I own that stock. They are uh, developing a mine, a gold mine in Mongolia, and also have a tremendous exploration play uh, associated with it. I also like K2 Gold. I do not own that one, uh, at least yet, personally, but that's uh, a company that it has an exploration project and in California, but it's worked before, has great signs of gold mineralization and comes out of that discovery group uh, shop that has brought us great bear and a number of other big discoveries and big successes. And of course, we know that you're a very geopolitically driven investor, so that means you understand what the heck is going on with many of the critical materials like the rare earths. Do you have any comments on the rare earth sector or the critical materials sector in general? Well, I, I love it. Um, I, I think the story there is irrefutable, inevitable, undeniable, irresistible. 
uh, it, it's all going to happen for that sector. For the junior stocks, the equities in the sector, I think we still need to have an underlying bull market in the precious metals because that brings the speculators into the mining sector. And then they branch out and start looking at everything else. You, you remember the last rare earth boom we had, the last uranium boom, the last you know base metal boom that we had in the junior mining sector. It all happened uh, with the backdrop of a precious metals bull market at the same time. And I think we really need that to get going again. And of course, you have one of the best events of the year annually down in New Orleans. Can you tell us what you're planning for this year? We are planning to return in person, in force, with a blockbuster event that it seems the whole world is eager to come back to. We will be the first big investment event that will be back in person. Uh, and it's fitting that it'll be in New Orleans, a city where everyone loves to come visit. And everyone I'm talking to in the industry and our longtime attendees are very excited about getting back in New Orleans in person, where you can benefit from all of those human interactions and the insights that you can get, and really the accidental meetings that you have just walking down the halls with, with big name speakers, with really smart investors, the kinds of things that you really can't get you know, in, in a virtual investing or a virtual meeting environment. Well, I'll tell you, you have to visit us more often. And of course, as soon as I get off the phone, desperate to travel myself, I'll be registering for your event. Thank you for joining us today, Brian. Thank you, Tracy. Great to be with you.